Well, as you can see, uh, my latest blog is taking place in the middle of a July heat wave. Um, and we'll look back on this in November and December and uh, remember fondly just how warm it was at the end of term. So as we come to the end of this academic year in the Cabot Learning Federation, we have a number of things that we've been celebrating. Uh, at the beginning of this half term, at the start of June, four of our academies were inspected by Ofsted. Uh, Begbrook Primary Academy went first uh, and were judged to be good. And then the following week, we managed to have three at the same time, at Bristol Brunel, Hans Price and Kings Oak Academy. And again, all three schools were judged to be good. Um, this has been a fantastic achievement for the Federation. Uh, seven of our academies have now been inspected since they joined the CLF and all seven have been judged to be at least good. Uh, and that was absolutely our mission and our aim when we set this up, that we would accelerate our school's improvement to good and to outstanding so that more and more students could benefit from that quality of education. For Hans Price and Kings Oak particularly, they haven't been with us for two years yet. They started in September 2011, both of them below floor targets and both of them with a checkered Ofsted history. And for both schools now to be good is a fantastic achievement for the staff and gives us a real sense of optimism as we move into the new year. We had our annual conference uh, two days ago. Uh, we had everybody, a thousand people, at Bristol City Football Club in the morning where we celebrated those achievements, reminded ourselves of what the Federation is set up to do, looked at the way in which we're going to try to develop things moving forward, and then all of the staff returned to Bristol Brunel Academy uh, where they took part in over 30 workshops that our colleagues had devised and delivered for them. Uh, and the feedback about the quality of that and the relevance of that, where you have people who are employed to do the same job delivering to each other, which makes a fantastic difference, was, was really pleasing to see. The conference was also an opportunity for me to thank staff um, for their support and for all their hard work, particularly when the news about my knighthood broke uh, on June the 15th in the Queen's Birthday Honours. Uh, that's been a wonderful accolade both for my real family and for my Cabot Learning Federation family. Um, I've been teaching for nearly 30 years and I've been a head teacher since 1997 and one never makes these achievements on, their, on, on one's own. Uh, we are only ever as good as the people that we lead and I am lucky to lead such a fantastic workforce in the Federation of people who share the same beliefs as I do, um, see the Federation as the champion of vulnerable students and do their best day in day out to give the best possible education we can to our children uh, and I'm thrilled that that has been recognised uh, in the knighthood and I look forward to going to Buckingham Palace some, sometime in the autumn in order to get my award um, and I'll share that as widely as I possibly can with the Federation staff. So this is our final blog of this academic year. Um, we come to an end of term in about a week, uh, 10 days time. Uh, our next blog will be around about the end of August when I will share the outcomes of all our hard work when we know the A-level and GCSE results and we've had our Key Stage 2 results confirmed. But until then, I hope everybody has a wonderful summer, a really good break, gets the chance to recharge their batteries and comes back in September ready to do it all again. Thank you very much.